All right, everybody. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what the TTM squeeze is. And this is basically going to be a series of many, many parts. But I want to start with the very basics of the TTM squeeze. But basically what the TTM squeeze is, is it's a momentum indicator uh, that's basically going to give you direction that the stock is going. So it could either be to the downside or to the upside. But overall, it's showing you the momentum in that direction. So basically what the TTM squeeze indicator is, is it's a mixture of Bollinger Bands. So let me put this on real quick. Whoops. Bollinger Bands. And the Kettler Channels. Right. So now we're going to put those on. Now on the TTM squeeze, we have a few colored dots down here at the bottom. We have black. We have orange, which is very, very rare. We have green. And then we have red. So the way that the red dots come into play is when the Bollinger Bands, which is this red line right here, curls to the inside of the Kettler channels, which is this little tan color right here. So notice we curl inside the Kettler channels here. And what happens on the next candle? We get a red dot. So this entire time that the Bollinger Bands is inside the Kettler channels, what do we get? Red dots the entire time. It's not until the Bollinger Bands curl back to the outside of the Kettler channels, we get this black dot right here. But then on this, we came straight back in. So when you see a red dot, you just know that the Bollinger Bands are curled to the inside of the Kettler channels. Now let me zoom out real quick. Uh, let me find a better area where we curl back to the outside. So right here, right? So we were curled to the inside all through here. What do we get? Red dots. The Bollinger Bands come outside the Kettler channels now we get these black dots and we stay like that until we curl back in. So notice we curl back in here. It gets tight. We get the red dots until we finally curl back to the outside of the Kettler channels. So now we also have another color, which is orange, which is basically saying that the Bollinger Bands and the Kettler channels are very, very tight and there is a move about to come. So notice this curl to the inside from the Bollinger Bands and the Kettler Channels. This light blue is part of the Bollinger Bands. So notice how far the Bollinger Bands came in and notice how tight they were right here. This is basically saying the stock is about to move in either direction and it's going to be a bigger move than usual. So here's one on Boeing. Orange squeeze. What happens? It ended up firing to the downside and we actually had a few days in a row of solid red. Now on Oracle, the same thing happened very recently, right? So we had a few days of orange and what happened? As soon as it fired to the upside, we got a pretty big move on Oracle and it's still firing. So let's go back to Boeing. So basically when you see an orange squeeze, you know that a bigger move is about to come. But all you need to know when you see the orange squeeze is that the Bollinger Bands are curled inside the Kettler channels, but they're very, very tight. So now we eventually fire to the outside. Bollinger Bands curl back outside the Kettler channels. What happens? We get our black dot and then we get our green dot basically saying, okay, the squeeze is now firing. So instead of having the Bollinger Bands and the Kettler channels on at the same time, you can take them both off and you can just leave the squeeze on. So now if I was looking at this chart with no other indicators or anything and I see a red dot, I can say, okay, the Bollinger Bands are curled to the inside of the Kettler channels and we're in a squeeze. If I see an orange squeeze, I know that we're very tight when it comes to the Bollinger Bands and Kettler channels. When we're finally firing with the black dots, I know that the Bollinger Bands have came outside the Kettler channels and we can expect a move in the direction that the squeeze is firing. So that's going to wrap up the video for part one on the TTM squeeze, but there's going to be many parts on how to use it in your trading technique. So if you did like the video, please drop a like and a comment and make sure to click that subscribe button.